uh, hi students in uh, previous uh, class in yesterday class i have told about uh, how the java in python programs will execute and uh, after that uh, we have discussed uh, uh, about uh, the other important features uh, related to python we have discussed in uh, today's uh, class we are going to discuss about uh, the other concepts like uh, uh, implementations of uh, python then uh, features of python all these we are going to discuss in uh, uh, today's uh, class In uh, today's session, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, flavors of Python and the features of Python we are going to discuss. And uh, those are absent for previous uh, classes, like uh, yesterday or day before yesterday's uh, class. So please uh, contact online team. They will send you the link for the uh, previous uh, demos you can watch. So you can uh, listen like what we have discussed all these. Uh. So here, when we say about uh, flavors of Python, so Python uh, latest version is uh, uh, Python 3.9 is the latest version. 3.9 is the latest version. And here we can see many flavors here. We can see implementations. Implementations of uh, Python. Like for example, in uh, C language, we can see flavors. Like uh, Turbo C, 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 Borland C, all these are there. Like uh, students will be learning Turbo C. So Turbo is the name of the compiler. And here, when we say about uh, Python here, here also we have different flavors here. So C Python is there. So uh, Python language, the default implementation is uh, uh, C Python. Okay, if uh, anybody is learning uh, Python uh, language, it means that uh, they are learning C Python. So it is a default and most widely used uh, uh, implementation of the um, uh, implementation of the uh, language. Okay, and here when we are working with this uh, uh, Python uh, language here, it is uh, developed by Guido Van Rossum. In uh, previous classes, I've told, like uh, Python is developed by Guido Van Rossum, and here C Python is uh, developed by the same person. And here C Python is uh, compiled and interpreted, both. Like old versions of Python, we can see only interpretation, okay. So Python, in old versions, Python has interpreter, it works slow. But when we see the latest versions of Python, so Python is compiled and interpreted. I should have told in detail about all this. So when you write a Python program, then a Python compiler gives bytecode. So bytecode means uh, intermediate code or uh, uh, assembly language. And uh, this bytecode is sent to PVM, Python Virtual Machine. So PVM will interpret the byte code and then it will give a native code or executable code. So here high level language, Python program is high level. It is converted to middle level. Again, middle level is converted to low level. So here when we say about compiler, compiler will convert the whole program to uh, machine. Uh, uh, com compiler will convert the entire program in uh, a single shot in one shot it will do the conversion so interpreter means it goes line by line it will convert line by line to machine code and then it gives the result and here uh, you can see jython or jpython is there here so it is the combination of uh, java and python here so if you are developing uh, python java applications in uh, java applications if you want to use python code then here uh, JVM will work here. Java virtual machine, uh, uh, Java virtual machine will works. Okay, and when we are working with uh, Jython or uh, uh, JPython here, like uh, whenever you want to go for combination, then it is used. So yesterday I've told, uh, like uh, in uh, Python applications, uh, we can use uh, in Python applications we can uh, use uh, like uh, C C++ libraries. 
Java .NET components uh, programs we can use. In the same way, in other languages applications, Python code we can use. Okay. In other languages applications, if you want to use Python code to do some task, to perform some task, then uh, we can use um, this uh, uh, Jython or JPython. We can use it. And here next one is Iron Python is there. It is uh, used for uh, by .NET uh, uh, .NET programmers. So those who are developing .NET applications. So in .NET applications, if they want to use Python code for doing some task, then Iron Python is used. So it is used for .NET developers. And next is uh, PyPy is there. So this is uh, uh, we'll call it as a Python uh, package index. I uh, will say. So it is uh, used to search and install the Python packages developed by Python community or uh, Python uh, software, uh, Python software foundation. OK, so here when we say about uh, uh, Python uh, community or Python software foundation, they have developed uh, hundreds of modules or thousands of modules. So modules means uh, Python files or programs and uh, by using them, then applications or uh, uh, projects can be developed. So here we are saying package. So in Python package means collection of modules will call as a, we'll call it as package collection of uh, uh, modules. Okay. So module can have variables, functions, classes, all these can be there in uh, Java. When we say in Java, when we say package, then package is the collection of classes and uh, uh, interfaces, but here it is different. And here you can see Ruby Python is there. So it is used by the web developers working on Ruby on Rails for website development. So for developing websites, uh, Ruby on Rails is used. So when they are developing website using Ruby on Rails, and if they want to use a Python objects or Python functions, if they want to use Python code in that particular website, then uh, Ruby Python is used. So Ruby Python means uh, Ruby on uh, Rails. So here I'm saying about a uh, server side technology that is Ruby on Rails. So here we'll discuss about some, some basics related to uh, websites here. So when we are working with uh, websites in internet, so in internet nearly six uh, crores websites are there. Every day thousand sites are hosted or published in uh, uh, internet. And in internet, we can see thousands of servers, dedicated servers connected to internet. So in every server system, like 50 or 100 or 200 websites, maybe uh, there depends on the availability, the sites will be there. So here we can say uh, client system. And here I'm using a server system is given. Client system and server system. So here when we say client system, uh, then uh, Client system has a browser and the server system has a web server. Okay, so here when we say about a, a browser, browser is an application used to open the websites. So like when we say notepad, notepad is an application. Like a paint, a paintbrush is an application. Like browser is an application used for opening the websites. And uh, and here client system contains web server. So web server is a software or an application used to store and to run the websites. So whenever you want to run the websites, store and run websites, then uh, web server is uh, used. So in the uh, internet, whichever sites are running, they are running with web server. Without web server, we cannot open. Okay. So Gmail or Facebook or Twitter, any anything, any site, it works with web server. So for Java websites, uh, Tomcat web server is used. And for .NET websites, IES web server is used, like internet information uh, services. And for PHP websites, then uh, Apache server is uh, used. And for Django websites, then uh, Django development server is there, development server. It is also web server only. So different servers are available. So based on that, uh, server web server is used. Like when we want to do uh, web hosting, 
if i develop a website and if i want to host that website in internet then uh, they will ask like uh, in uh, which language the website is developed in uh, which uh, software like if you say uh, java then uh, in uh, tomcat in the server where tomcat is there they will install it if you say asp.net or asp.net mvc then they will install then they will host that in uh, uh, ias web server so based on the softwares we are using based on the uh, technologies we use then uh, they are hosted or published in uh, uh, internet servers so they will clearly ask like uh, using which software which language or which technology it is developed then they will decide where to uh, host or publish website in uh, uh, internet and here when we say about websites here in a website can have two types of pages like uh, static pages and we can say uh, dynamic pages are there a uh, static pages and uh, dynamic uh, pages are there so here when we say about uh, static pages so html pages are called as static pages so html pages are called as static pages or we can say them as uh, read only pages so these uh, pages are controlled or managed by the uh, web server in the uh, web server in the these uh, pages are controlled or managed by the browser in the client system browser can manage manage means uh, we can move from one page to another page in the website so that control navigation is possible here so whenever you want to display the same information uh, to all the users accessing the website then uh, we can uh, use uh, we can use html pages like for example if you want to uh, display uh, news or uh, images or advertisements or some other content which is common to all all the users then html pages can be used so html pages uh, means uh, home page or index page then about us uh, contact us then uh, site map like all these are there like all these can be done with uh, uh, can be done with uh, 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 html pages okay i am just saying these are the exa examples okay so sitemap page i am telling so it is used to show information about the site like uh, what all uh, contents are the what all uh, pages are there so here what all pages are there then uh, how we are using uh, like uh, what data is there all this so sitemap is not uh, google maps eh? it will show information about the uh, site okay so when html page is there or when html files are there so they are client side so html is client side works in browser so in uh, while working with websites we'll say client side server side okay so client side means we can say front end server side means uh, back end so here we are having front end technologies or frameworks and the back end technologies or frameworks are there okay so html is a uh, front end client side and uh, we along with html we can use other client side technologies or uh, client side uh, frameworks uh, we can use here so that we can uh, do it so here when we say about client side uh, technologies then uh, here we'll say So here when we say client side technologies here we'll say javascript then uh, css cascading style sheet and uh, next is uh, jquery yeah i will explain i'll explain that so jquery and uh, next uh, is uh, uh, bootstrap then uh, dom so document object model and the next one is angular and next one is the react js all these are uh, uh, client said front end so along with html pages or along with html files all these are uh, all these are used and here when we say about uh, here when we say about uh, uh, react uh, all these like angular is there it works as front end and back end because their uh, angular framework is used for front end and uh, node js is used as a backend so in angular typescript is used like a type a typescript means it is a superscript of javascript so 
like uh, typescript is just like a modern programming language like in a uh, typescript uh, what all we see in java like the uh, classes interfaces all no? in a uh, typescript also we'll see all those and uh, react js is also front end only it is used to create reusable ui components so whenever you want to use uh, reuse the same content or controls in different locations in the pages or in different locations in the website then uh, react js can be can be used and here i can say here dynamic pages are there so when we say about uh, uh, dynamic uh, pages so dynamic pages are controlled or managed by the web server in the server system okay so dynamic pages uh, from user to user information will change so it will not give the same information uh, to all the users uh, uh, accessing the uh, access it will not give same information to all the users uh, connecting uh, working with the site from user to user information will uh, uh, information will change and uh, here when you work with uh, gmail here like uh, after login is successful uh, here we can see one page here after entering into the site we can see that page So here we can uh, we can uh, see this. Here we are getting this uh, uh, get this uh, page here. Okay. So here when we when we say about dynamic pages, like uh, from user to user, information will change. And uh, dynamic pages examples are login page, or registration page, or change password, uh, password recovery then all these are called as uh, uh, dynamic uh, pages uh, we'll say okay and uh, here you can see this uh, gmail means see uh, every day we'll see this page here you can see quick launch bar for quick navigation and here you can see the tabs primary social promotion and here you can see this inbox here shows the list of mails what i've received okay so this uh, page will call it as a single page application so single page application means in one particular page we can do all our work instead of moving from one page to another instead of jumping from one website to another website then we can use a single page application so to create single page application we have to use angular uh, angular should be used okay so if i connect to gmail with my account it will show only my mails like this is a dynamic data whatever mails you are seeing here this is a dynamic data here okay because in gmail we can see 32 crore accounts if any user connect to gmail uh, google mail then it will show only those uh, mails it will not show the uh, use the mails related to other users so this is also dynamic uh, uh, page only okay and uh, here uh, when we say about uh, dynamic pages to create a dynamic pages we have to use a server side technology server side code or we have to use a uh, backend uh, technologies uh, should be used backend technologies are php uh, jsp servlets then uh, asp.net and uh, asp.net mvc and uh, next one is uh, django and uh, ruby on rails and uh, node js all these are server side technologies are used for creating uh, for creating dynamic pages we'll use it okay so here uh, python related uh, framework is uh, so here uh, uh, python related uh, uh, framework is uh, django is there so django is existing so when we say about django django is a framework uh, used for uh, developing the used for developing dynamic websites or dynamic web pages okay django uh, django sites uh, django here so in uh, python with the uh, python we can use other frameworks also like a uh, django is there uh, flask uh, bottle then uh, pyramid uh, then uh, web 2 py pylons turbo gears like many are there all these uh, we can uh, uh, we can use it so django is a framework it is completely developed in uh, uh, python in python it is uh, it is developed 
and here when we are working with this uh, uh, dynamic pages like uh, all will be knowing this here uh, html pages are there dynamic pages are there like students will be having doubt about this so here uh, the difference between html pages and dynamic pages is in uh, internet whatever sites we are running they will run with http or https protocol okay so here if i open this site here so here if i open the site and here you can see it is showing as http not secure so this is running with http protocol and if you take a gmail here so it is running with http https so here uh, http and https like uh, here uh, one is secured and uh, another one is not secured okay so http protocol means you have to implement security manual we have to write programs so in https uh, secure data is secured while uh, sending the data from client to server uh, server to client it is done so here when we say about http or https protocol so it is uh, called as stateless protocol like in a network many protocols are used like uh, they they will transfer the data and uh, security based on security the protocols are used so http is a 40 years old protocol still we are using here okay so http is called as stateless protocol stateless protocol means it cannot remember the values given in the pages in the website and it cannot remember the pages opened in the site so it cannot maintain history okay so then uh, you may be having doubt then why we are using this so here when we say http or https the, it is uh, called as a communication protocol used to transfer the data in the network because of http or https then uh, we have to maintain web pages values or website information in browser browser means client system or else we have to maintain the data in the server okay so when we store web pages values or website information uh information in browser or else in the client system and if you want to use the data across pages in the website then uh, with uh, html uh, pages like uh, we can store less amount of data and data is not safe execution is slow like if you store the same information in the server system like to use the data in multiple pages in the website across pages in the website so in that uh, case uh, uh, here we are uh, using uh, uh, this uh, here when we store data in the server then we can store large amount of data then data is uh, sent safely into the server stored safely in the server like 100 percent uh, privacy will be there and uh, whenever you store confidential data or sensitive data like passwords account number credit card number debit card number pin number all this is very confidential sensitive data then in that case we can store this information in the server then we can secure the data from middleman attacks or data tampering or else from uh, hijacking uh, uh, we can uh, uh, from hackers we can secure the data okay so when we store information in using dynamic pages when we store information web pages values or website information using dynamic pages then all these advantages are there uses are there okay and uh, using dynamic pages we can integrate the web pages with uh, uh, database if i want to connect the web page with uh, uh, database like uh, uh, like uh, mysql oracle sql server we can do it then uh, using dynamic pages or dynamic websites we can send data to the database table and then we can access the data from the from the database uh, database table So here, whatever explanation I've given here, all these explanation I've given in Ruby Python. So here, what I said is uh, a Ruby Python means it is used to develop websites using Ruby on Rails. So when developers are using uh, Ruby on Rails for developing dynamic websites or dynamic web pages, and in that, if they want to use Python code, then uh, Ruby Python is uh, used. And here you can see another one that is Anaconda Python is there. So it is especially designed for handling large volume of data processing. 
like after python if you learn data science then you can download that software and then you can uh, download that software and then you can uh, uh, use it that you can uh, do here okay so uh, like in uh, in a data science what we do is we'll take uh, the data related to companies or businesses and then uh, we can uh, uh, we can analyze it and we can generate the reports and based on the reports they can take the decisions and uh, they can uh, uh, have their own plans to run the business successfully then uh, these uh, whatever reports that they generate then they are very useful so when you learn data science uh, download that uh, flavor and you can use it and next one is stackless python is there it is used for uh, it is used to do multiple activities at a time so using uh, uh, using these uh, programs if you want to do two or three activities at a time or else if you want to give uh, two or three results then by using stackless python uh, by using stackless python it can be done uh, it can be done easily okay and here when we are working with uh, uh, when we are working with uh, stackless python here in our classes we'll not use because in advanced python one chapter is there multi threading chapter multi threading leads to multitasking so whenever you want to get two or three results at a time then uh, stackless uh, python is uh, sorry sorry multi threading is used so we'll write multi threading programs and we'll use in python application then uh, we can do multiple tasks multiple activities uh, uh, can be can be performed okay so these are the different implementations of python so in all these implementations a uh, default implementation is a uh, uh, c python is there here we are using a uh, c python here so uh, flavors of python is uh, completed and now we are going to discuss about uh, uh, features of uh, python we are discussing here so here when we say about python it is uh, easy to learn and it is easy to use so in previous class also i have told so python is a beginner's language so python is a, like syntaxes are easy rules and regulations you can follow and uh, learning python is easy and using python is also easy developing writing programs now developing applications uh, is uh, easy here and uh, here when you see about uh, python here it is a uh, uh, expressive uh, language here okay so expressive language means it is more understandable and it is uh, more uh, readable readability is there okay so here when we say about more uh, understandable like here simple language is used like here you will not get the difficult words uh, will, will not be there here like uh, simple words are used and we can read the program or statements easily okay it here will not use complex words like what we use in java like package names interface name then uh, classes names function names so they won't be uh, like difficult like what we use in java and here you can see uh, python is a uh, interpreted language so as i said that python is compiled and interpreted okay so in a first step uh, compilation in a second step interpretation is done so python compiler will use a python compiled code in first compilation like that is byte code okay byte code is sent to uh, pvm and it gives a native code or executable uh, uh, code will get and here you can uh, see a uh, cross platform language is there so when we say about this uh, uh, python uh, here when we say about python it is a uh, cross platform language so we can use a python software as i said before python is a, a platform independent at development and at production and it is a machine independent also so we can use a python in different operating systems at development and at production okay so when we say about this uh, uh, python here uh, python community or python software foundation they have developed the python for windows python for unix python for linux python for mac os uh, python for um, like other uh, operating uh, uh, systems like as 400 we are uh, we can use it so now i am using python in windows 
so you can use a python in uh, unix and uh, somebody other other person can use a python in uh, linux so it is there it is available python software is available and then uh, we can uh, use it so here when you see this So in downloads, uh, you can see here. So here, uh, download latest version for uh, Windows, it is giving here. And uh, here you can see looking python for different operating system like windows or unix or linux mac os then other operating then uh, we can uh, use uh, uh, this one so python software or python um, uh, language works in any operating system so while learning while practicing while developing applications we can use in any os it will uh, it will work so we can uh, uh, use it okay and uh, while working with uh, uh, python applications if i develop python application or any project or any software then it can run in other operating systems without doing any changes if i develop python application in windows then it can run in other operating systems without doing any modifications so how it is going to run is using pvm so when we install python virtual machine in that physical machine then in that case uh, in uh, any operating system the python application will run in any machine so they may use a uh, different uh, uh, cpu architectures like a uh, hardware may change so uh, we can uh, use it so when pvm is installed in uh, the client system then uh, it may have any os or it may be having uh, like uh, about hardware also in any machine it will works it will works and uh, python uh, will works in uh, laptop desktop tablet pc uh, in a uh, smartphone like in all these uh, in all these it will uh, uh, it will works we can uh, use it and uh, when you are working with uh, python language so python software you can practice python programs even in mobile also like online compilers are there like gdb compiler is there so using online compilers you can even practice not running application you can you can even practice uh, python in uh, mobiles also okay so python software python language works in any flavor of unix or linux so that uh, we can uh, see here so when we say about uh, flavors of uh, unix or linux here list is uh, given here so any flavor of uh, unix uh, uh, like uh, sun solaris ibm ax then uh, HPS, uh, HPUX, AT&T system, uh, VR4, BSD Unix, uh, DEC Unix, uh, Mac OS, SCO Unix, all these are there. See, today I've told about flavors of Python. And in Unix, uh, you can see many flavors. And uh, uh, Python works in Python software or Python language, works in any uh, flavor of Linux. So it can be Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux, Mint, Open SUSC. Uh, PC Linux OS, Debian, Mandriver, Sabion, Gentoo. Uh, here, all these are there. So, in all these uh, flavors, uh, Python software or Python language will work. And as I said, that it works in Mac OS AS400. It is going to work. It will uh, run. And here, uh, when we are working with this uh, uh, Python here, so Python uh, is uh, free, open source, and uh, uh, redistribution here so python software is free software and uh, python uh, is uh, is uh, it is open source okay open source means we can open the files of python and we can see what code is written like all these uh, we can uh, uh, see source is open code is open and uh, here you can see redistribution is there okay so when you are learning uh, python like this will be for two months core and advanced python so you will learn many chapters and uh, you will learn uh, many modules functions all these okay 
and uh, after that uh, if you if a student joins as a fresher in companies then student will learn many things like while doing the project okay so whatever student learned in the course then uh, student is going to implement in the project and uh, if uh, the person continues in uh, python for 3 or 4 years then uh, the person candidate be becomes expert in python master in python because uh, the person is working with uh, live or real time projects okay so uh, the person will be expert in coding so if the person is continuously working on live or real time projects or working on big domains for more than 3 years 4 years or 5 years then uh, that particular person like you may be working as analyst a software analyst or a module leader or a, a project manager so he may be in the top list then that particular person will know what is missing in python what is not there in not there in python so while learning the course or while doing the first project or when you join as fresher on python then if if anybody says like i want to know what is not there in python i want to know what is missing in python in the beginning you cannot do this because only for learning what is there in python it takes time okay so if anybody says i want to know what is not there what is missing in python so it is difficult so those who are expert in python coding they will be knowing what is not there in python what is missing in python then what they can do they can customize the code so whatever modules developed by python community or python uh, software foundation they can customize so they can do changes according to their requirement so they can do modifications so that uh, that uh, possibility is uh, that possibility is there here okay changes uh, changes can be uh, changes can be done okay so uh, like customization is allowed here there is no rule like uh, we have to use modules as it is so according to our requirement we can do the changes in the code and we can use it and uh, if uh, other uh, uh, team those are working on python projects if they want to use the same uh, uh, they, if they want to use the same code uh, like what we customized if they want to use in their projects in other projects in other python projects then we can distribute the code to others okay customized code uh, we we are using in our project and that customized code we can uh, read uh, re we can give it to others so that is called as uh, redistributing code to others uh, so that they can use in their projects okay like here when we say about uh, uh, like a customization and all we'll see like for example uh, clothes will be there like a designer wear will be there designer clothes like they are expensive like uh, according to the uh, customers requirements uh, customization they can do it like if uh, somebody buy, purchase bike okay or if the bike car and uh, if they want to customize it like uh, if they want to do some uh, like uh, if they want to put additional accessories then they can customize so customization is according to the customer's uh, taste they can do that so even in python also customization is um, is allowed here okay and here when we say about uh, uh, python here we can say that python is uh, object oriented here you can see it supports object oriented programming so in a previous classes as i am saying that uh, uh, python is a powerful language uh, python is a great software i am using all these but uh, students may be having doubt what exactly this python is okay is it uh, compiled or uh, like sorry is it uh, uh, like a scripting language or programming language like uh, so maybe having doubts okay so when we say about python python will call it as a scripting language python is a scripting language okay so when we say about this uh, scripting language here we can see many scripting languages here here we can see many scripting languages like a uh, shell scripting perl scripting then uh, php okay then uh, php is there then uh, tcl tk like it is used for uh, desktop applications like tk inter will say then uh, vb script java script ant powershell uh, ruby on rails all these are there all these are scripting uh, languages only okay and uh, python supports uh, python is what a scripting language okay 
but it supports the features of other programming languages so here uh, python uh, supports the features of uh, uh, procedure oriented uh, programming like a uh, c language like uh, we will say structured programming also so procedure oriented means how we are writing programs in uh, uh, like a uh, c language we can do in python and uh, python supports object oriented programming like how we do in c++ and in java like creating class creating a uh, object then uh, encapsulation inheritance polymorphism data abstraction then uh, function overloading function overriding operator overloading and then uh, constructors destructors uh, garbage collection like many are there so in advanced python you are going to discuss uh, we'll uh, discuss about all this class object what all i've told now we'll going to discuss in detail about all this okay and uh, python supports uh, uh, scripting uh, languages features like a shell script uh, then perl all this and uh, python will call it as um, python supports uh, modular programming language features modular programming okay so there is a language called uh, module 3 is there module 3 is there so when we say about this uh, uh, when we say about so when we say about uh, uh, module uh, 3 here so uh, when we say about a uh, module 3 python uh, supports uh, uh, modular uh, programming like uh, your students you may not heard about uh, this module 3 module 3 language is there uh, that we are uh, uh, that we are using here okay so when we are working with this uh, uh, python it supports the features of many languages like uh, uh, taking all these uh, languages then uh, uh, putting in a uh, mixy and uh, generating one language that is called python okay so if it supports uh, many features of many programming languages so students may think is i think uh, then it would be very difficult to learn okay so even though it supports the uh, features of uh, many programming uh, languages python is easy easy to learn and it is easy to use okay and uh, here when we say about object oriented programming like uh, in uh, python if i am developing project if i am working on a live or real time project in uh, django if i am doing project if i am doing project in uh, uh, python related pro python related courses okay so wherever python is used there in the live or real time projects object oriented programming should be used like class and object they have to use so when the object oriented programming is uh, used uh, then it will uh, the application the project will contain security then uh, flexibility and uh, uh, reusability will be there okay so in uh, projects we have to use object oriented programming like class and object then in that case application will get security then uh, flexibility and uh, reusability will be there so these are not related to the data or information these are related to coding so code will have security and a code will have flexibility like anywhere we can use with any language it will works like programming okay and uh, it is uh, uh, having reusability also like reusability means we can reuse the code using inheritance like single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance hybrid inheritance all these are there like all these uh, we can uh, uh, we can uh, use it so in that case then uh, uh, object oriented programming features we have to implement so what i said now is in python application when we use object oriented programming then python application will get a security for the code flexibility for the code flex flexibility of the code and the reusability of the code also will be there and uh, here you can see uh, extensible is there so here we can say extensible and integrated is there as i'm saying uh, like in uh, python applications we can use uh, c c++ uh, libraries java and dotnet programs or components can be used so integrated means uh, in other languages applications in other languages projects like in c c++ projects or java dotnet projects we can use python code python programs we can use in uh, two ways it is uh, used that is called integrated here and uh, python uh, contains uh, a large standard library so large standard library means uh, python contains uh, 
like the hundreds of modules like by using them applications or projects can be developed easily so that we can uh, uh, do here that possibility is uh, is uh, there okay so here other uh, here tenth feature is there that is high level language so in this uh, we have to discuss about uh, like uh, uh, strongly typed languages loosely typed languages like a uh, compile time data types uh, dynamic data types like many other things are there okay so this 10th uh, point we'll discuss in uh, tomorrow's session about uh, strongly typed languages uh, loosely typed languages okay the uh, static data types dynamic data types all these are there all these we are going to discuss in the 10th point then after that we'll discuss about uh, uh, what are the applications we can develop in python and then we are going to discuss about how to download python software then how to install python software like all these we are going to discuss in uh, uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, session we are going to discuss and in uh, uh, and uh, uh, like those who have not yet registered please register so that i can send you the videos and i can send you the notes uh, to your uh, uh, mail ids like uh, anyone registered for the course anybody registered for the course okay okay so those who have not yet registered please register for the course and for registered students i will send you the notes and i will send you the uh, material notes and videos also sent to your mail ids so today i'll collect uh, email ids for the registered students i will send you the notes and videos okay tomorrow we'll continue